Hello everyone, my name is Stanley St. Rose, and today we're going to be talking about the novel The Unbearable Lightness of Being, written by Milan Kundera. Now, before I go into the summary analysis of this work, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment so that the channel can continue to grow. In this novel, we get introduced to four main characters by the name of Tomas, Teresa, Sabina, and Franz. Now, this novel is not a linear novel from beginning to end. You kind of get the interwoven story of these four characters. There's a lot happening within this novel. There is um, the effect of communism and war going on, and you have the lives of these four characters going on and how they affect each other. Then the other thing is this novel is actually tackling or, you know, it's talking about philosophy. And the main principle that we focus on within this novel is the idea of is, light, is life heavy or light? And so you kind of get the picture of this through the way in which the characters behave within this novel. So this is a very complex novel and there's a lot here. It's not just the narratives, there's, a, there's philosophy and also politics at play within this novel. So basically, one of the most important, char important characters is Tomas. Tomas is this man who marries Teresa and... Um, he's not a good husband. He sleeps around a lot because, you know, he finds pleasure in that. He finds a, a enjoyment in that. He realizes that he loves Teresa, um, and they, you know, they stay together. They get married, but at the same time, Tomas doesn't really stop cheating on her. Um, and Teresa is well aware of this and she is not okay with this, but, you know, she still loves Tomas. And so they find a way to stay together, even though that, you know, Tomas is Tomas. And... The thing is, like, the question about Tomas, or the thing that you, you wonder about Tomas is why does he do this? Because he declares and he, you know, depicts that he shows, he loves Teresa, but at the same time, he is in a way hurting her. Tomas is one of those figures that you can say he's a figure of lightness. Um, he tries not to carry that, that much heaviness or that much meanings into the things that he does, because we see him, um, you know, chase after... Um, of women or you know he sleeps around a lot within the novel just because he wants to have those moments of of pleasure those moments of bliss um and in those moments you know he he truly lives and so you can see Thomas being a character that lives you know in the moment he lives for pleasure he lives for experiences and he's you know, he's lighter than some other characters within the novel. A lot of other characters like Teresa and, and Franz, they're kind of like tied down by um, family bonds. Um, Teresa's mother has a huge impact on how she um, behaves and so does Franz. Franz feels like he's a character that feels um, responsible for his actions. In the novel, he gets married to his wife because she said that she was going to commit suicide. So she, he feels responsible for that. So in order to not let her commit suicide, Franz marry, he, he marries his wife. And so there are these differences between these four characters, between lightness and heaviness or responsibility and obligations that make their lives heavy and that sometimes make their lives light. Um, from my perspective, I would say um, Teresa and Franz are the, the heavy characters and Sabina and, and Tomas are... Um, the light characters. From my perspective, Sabina's the most light character. She's a woman that loves to sleep around with different men, and she'll she'll be with a man pretty much um, when she kind of like gets close to marriage or when the relationship becomes something that's going to be significant. She abandons ship, or she she pretty much leaves her suitor, leaves the man that she was with behind, and kind of like escapes and or disappears. That's pretty much what she does to Franz within the novel when she starts a relationship with him. Um, you get a lot of this the depictions of of sexual acts within this novel and the way that these individuals feel while they're in the act. And it's, you know, it, these experiences shape their lives, it shapes their actions, and um, you also get this kind of, like, idea of love and emotions and, you know, what it truly means within this novel, and are, are these things heavy or are they light? So, this, this novel is really, when you read it, um, you do read it for the narrative, um, you know, you, you figure out a lot, a lot of things about the characters, but at the same time, you kind of get, you start to wonder about the deeper meanings of this novel. And the deeper meanings is kind of like 
you know, how should you live your life? Because one central question that comes before you while you're reading this novel is that, you know, life, everybody has one chance at life. Nobody has a do-over. It's not, life is not like a video game. You don't just play until you get it right. You know, you don't just, you know, if you die within a video game, you can just restart and play and play and die and die until you finally get it right. Um, life is not like that. If you die, you're done. The game is over. And it's kind of like life is, you know, most artists, when they're painting a picture, they'll have a chance to sketch the picture out or to plan the picture out. In life, you don't get that. You basically are thrown into it and, you know, whatever happens, happens. If you make mistakes, you know, you have to deal with it. If you succeed, you succeed. No one gets an instruction manual. No one gets a lesson. No one gets classes. It's just everybody's thrown in um, and everybody has to do what they can to survive. And so in the novel, we just follow these characters and, you know, we see how their lives end up and they have to deal with war and the whole political situation that's going around. At the beginning of the novel, Tomas was a doctor, but he loses his license because he got involved in politics in, in things that he shouldn't ha have gotten involved with. Um, in the end, Tomas stays with Teresa and they kind of like live together and they die together, um, you know, and their, their lives are as happy as they can be. Um, Tomas, you know, he experiences the world as much as he can. For some reason, I don't know why, but he just, he, there's this part of the novel where he explains that he just loves to see um, women when he's sleeping with them and just their reactions when he's sleeping with them um, and uh, Sabina is the same way she's like this woman that just um, she likes to betray men she she you know escapes deserts people and she doesn't let people lean on her or she just doesn't want to be heavy she doesn't like to attach meaning to things to chat to um, make things heavy on her so her life is always moving it's like it's almost like a river that never you know stands still so you know, when Franz wanted to get married to her, when Franz, Franz, you know, he wanted to leave his wife for Sabina, uh, when this is about to happen, Sabina just jumps ship because she just, she doesn't want anything substantial. She doesn't want anything to stick. And, um, you know, it says a lot about their character and how they live to, they, they want to live their lives. And Sabina and Tomas, you know, even in, in the novel, they have a relationship, a sexual relationship within the novel. Um, Sabina was the woman that T Teresa had a problem with because, you know, Sabina was sleeping with Tomas, her, her, her husband. Um, but the thing is, like, even though all this is true, Sabina doesn't have a problem with any woman. She doesn't have a problem with Teresa or Tomas. She ju she's just having her fun and experiencing life as she wants um, to, experiences, um, to experience it. And the thing is, like, Sabina, within the novel, she's kind of like trying to figure out why would Tomas leave his life of endless adventures with women and just endless experiences to be with one woman in a marriage. That's something that's strange for her. At the end of the, the, the novel, all of these characters die. Franz dies, and for some reason, his wife that he left for some um, college student um, takes his body, and the college student doesn't get any of his, his money or anything from his death. Sabina dies alone, and um, Tomas and um, Teresa, they die kind of together. And um, Tomas' son that was forgotten, that pretty much Tomas lost connection with, comes into the picture and buries his father and Teresa. So it's a very interesting book about how the world works and whether life is heavy or light. Um, and from my perspective, in terms of analysis, in terms of the deeper meanings of, of this novel, I think that life can be heavy and light. It really depends what meaning you put um, to it. If you're a type of a person that values things like loyalty, things like um, honesty and, and, you know, doing right by, by your brethren and respecting your neighbors, um, certain concepts, when you put heaviness to them, when you put meaning in them, they become heavy. Um, that's why, you know, people can feel shame. People can feel despair. It's because you put meaning to that. And when you when you do something to violate the things that you believe in, um, it hurts you. I mean, religion is um, something that mankind has created. And people have devoted their entire lives to religion. Um, you know, out, there's several different types of religions around the world. And people have fully devo devoted themselves to it. 
and you know certain people will die for their religion and for their beliefs so we put um heaviness into things we put meaning into things and we will live and die by them so if you're a type of a person that put meaning um into something you know it can become heavy and it can be something that that weighs upon your shoulders but if you're a type of person that goes through life where you don't have specific beliefs where you don't put you know any meaning into anything or anything that you believe in you don't really fully believe in it um your life can be light and you know you're not concerned about anything or how you know things might go wrong so it's a very interesting um novel it's a it's a very interesting uh, concept and a philosophical idea about how you know reality is and how the world can work um, and it says a lot about the four main characters that, you know, Tomas, Teresa, Sabina, and Franz. So that is my summary analysis of the unbearable lightness of being. Please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment. And I'll see you guys in the next video.